What's good, YouTube land? That weird collector here. Today I'll be opening this Tapu Coco pin collection. So, following up from the Mimikyu pin collection and the Zygarde complete form pin collection, we have part one of what hopefully is a four-part look at uh, the Tapus of Sun and Moon, the Guardians of the Island, starting. With, Ve with Vegeta himself, as I like to call him in my playthrough of Pokemon Moon. Because he's angry all the time, he's very proud, and he has flaming orange slash yellow hair. Good enough to be Vegeta. So, here's the box. You got gray, black, and orange fading into almost red. With a bit of yellow, which is nice. You got the card of Tapu Koko right there. Nice artwork of the same thing. And the pin, which has his body facing the other direction, for some reason. On the side, you got Tapu Koko. On the other side, Tapu Koko with that same piece of artwork. On the top, Tapu Koko. On the back, Tapu Koko guards the land. It's one of the guardian Pokemon of the Alola region, with deep connection to the island itself. With the Tapu Koko pin collection, you get Tapu Koko both as a fun collector's pin and as a never before, never before seen foil promo card stand ready to guard the island with Tapu Koko. Because who, who cares about punctuation, right? Uh, not this guy. So, just going to do this quick. I don't feel like editing it because I've already done two videos before this that took way too long. So. Open the box. Get that. Inside, you get the foil promo card, a code card, one pack, uh, two packs of Guardian Guardians Rising, and a pack of Steam Siege, and the pin of Tapu Koko, which. Is very nice as they tend to be. As you can see, his body is facing that way. There's a little bit of black to represent the void, the emptiness in his uh, armor. And he's got orange skirt on, basically, and flaming yellow orange spiked hair that even runs down the middle of his face. But, yeah, very cool. I do hope to get pins of Tapu Bulu, Tapu Finny, and Tapu Lele as well. See, I can remember names. And nice card art of Tapu Koko. Flying Flip for 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So even those on the bench. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. For two colorless. And two lightning and a colorless gets you Electro Ball for 100. Ah, that's alright. Start off with Steam Siege. I kind of want to go through this as quickly as possible because I'm sick of recording videos. At, like, no, well, not sick, but like it's 10 o'clock at night. And I kind of want to go eat, and I also want to play video games. And this is kind of taking away from it. Not that it's a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely not a bad thing. It's just. Wanting a bulk record is not n never my favorite thing. Uh, Rufflet, uh, Shellos, Clauncher, Meowth, Hoppip, Nidorino, Zuelus, Monferno, 
trying to organize these cards. Oh, a second Clawitzer break. That's cool. Back in the pre-release of Steam Siege, I, I competed in the tournament, and I got Clawitzer break in my deck, and I came in, I t I came in tied for second with only one loss, but... And a rare is an Armaldo. So that is nice to get a second Clawitzer. He has a pr lock on's a pretty good cool ability. The defending Pokemon can't retreat during your opponent's next turn, and during your next turn, any damage done to that Pokemon by attacks is increased by a hundred and twenty. Like that is a good ability. So. Now we're going to get into some Guardians Rising. I'm really hoping I can get one of those, like, secret rare variants, you know? Like, at some point. So, I'm, if I recall, I'm just not going to shuffle it. Phantump. Barboach. Carvana. Halo, Jangmo'o, really cool Pokemon, Garbodor, oh, Wishy Washy GX, oh, that is cool, oh, that is really awesome, <laughs> Wishy Washy, I find it hilarious, Water Gun for 20, Torrential Vortex for 3, Water and 2 Colors, 120, Discard a special energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. That's cool. And Blue Surge GX, 220 for the same amount of energies. Move all energies from the, this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon in any way you like. So, that can be like a last resort if he's going to die. Oh, Reverse Hollow Garbodor. I'll just take those. Oops. Uh, Psychic Energy. A Enhanced Hammer. A Low Mimola. And a marinery. But sweet, I've already. Well, that was already. That's already worth. Worth it, really, just for a GX and and a break. Can't really get it open, so I'll just knife it. As I tend to with things that just, you know. Oh, great. Have to get rid of garbage. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but. Oop. Didn't want to give that away. Snore Runt. Pan Cham. Bellsprout, a Cotney, another Carvana, an Oracorio, Reverse Hollow, ooh, a Salazzle is our rare. That is cool. Hot Poison. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may leave your opponent's actual Pokemon burned and poisoned. And Flamethrower is classic. A Water Energy. And Marinery again. Clefable. And a Lampant. So, one GX, uh, one Break, and a pretty cool rare card. Overall, I call that I call that worth $19.99, honestly. I did pick this up from my local comic book shop from $19.99. However you, much you want to pay is your choice. There you go. Wishy-washy GX. So, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this kind of quick one. I kind of wanted to just speed it right through this. Uh, hmm. Which way? <laughs> what? Uh, I lost my place. I just wanted to speed right through this. But hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Until then, keep it weird.